because it's haphazard, it's not fully utilised. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Brilliant. You. Um, come meet Linda, please. Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, this is Akros Cemeteries again. And um, before I start, I'd just like to say we have had fantastic partnership with the council in the last two or three years working in the cemeteries and we've achieved a huge amount. So this year we really want to focus going right back to the very beginning when we started working in the cemeteries it was the, the broken headstones after the earthquakes. So this year because we've achieved all the rest we want to get back to the headstones and what we're basically asking for is a global consent from the council so that we don't have to pay a building consent for every headstone that we want to fix. So I'll just um, go you know through. How, you know how lucky you are? Do you know, you know how lucky you are? <coughs> Head of building consent. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Carry on. Okay, I'll come and kneel at your feet. Okay. So here we go. This is, this is what the headstones are looking like. Um, since 2010, we, there are a few that have been fixed. The council promised us in 2012 they'd fix 13. 2016, our group was asked to measure and assess all the historic heritage headstones, which we did. We handed this folder into the council with about 30 measured and 6 degrees temperatures, um, and then nothing happened. So we eventually have had four settler headstones fixed, funded by the council, and we understand there's no more funding. So we'll pick it up, but we're just asking, please don't give us any charges. Okay, so we'll just go through. Um, yep, this is a simple request, an easy yes. Uh, just waive the restoration consent fees, please, and provide us with a global consent. So we'll do the fundraising, we'll organise it, we've do, already done the assessments, that, so those are the council assessments as well as the general assessments for stonemasons. Families have been contacts, we've got a pro contacted, uh, we've got a priority list, um, and there is a precedent for this, we understand with Selwyn District Council. Um, apparently after the earthquakes they gave one of the stonemasons here a global consent and a lump sum of money and they just went in and fixed all the headstones that were damaged in the earthquakes. So this is the sort of track that we're going down. Um, why would you agree? Um, primarily because this is a heritage cemetery, there's large amounts of early New Zealand history. This is the birthplace of the South Island. So a lot of the information that's on these headstones relates to the birth of Christchurch and Canterbury. Because we'll do the work, you don't need to worry. Um, there's so many stories that can't be read at the moment. And often when we're working in there, visitors get really quite distressed. They come up to us and ask why these headstones are still like this, particularly Asian visitors. Um, <laughs> Who are we? You probably know the Akaro Cemeteries Group represents the Akaro community and the families, the Comte de Pre Descendants Group. We represent the French and German descendants that arrived in 1840, so many of us still live locally. A lot of the headstones relate to this history. Um, and these are the sorts of things we've done already, so that hopefully this gives you the confidence that we can go ahead and do this satisfactorily we've got the new um sorry i'll just go back the new memorial entrance has been built we've got interpretation panels put up working with the council telling the history they're looked at all the time it's really amazing um we've re researched and done, updated all the council burial records we've found plots we've found where children have been buried they haven't been on the records before and we've cleared all the extra cemetery land so that the cemetery can be extended. So we'll leave all that. We'll probably run out of time if I carry on. Um, 
but this is the cemetery land that we cleared that's going ahead now. Um, plans are going to come through this year. Community's absolutely stoked that we're going to get the cemetery extension. This is the memorial entrance funded by the Comte de Pre and the community and the Catholic Church. Meeting the criteria of the cemetery's master plan, which was to enhance the cemeteries. These are some of the interpretation panels. We got the frames donated. And this is one of the little children's graves that we've found. And we've just put new headstones on these graves this year. So this is really just about the headstones, the history, which I've told you about. Some of it is tree damage. These are trees that have been allowed to grow on heritage grave sites and have damaged the headstones. All two of those on the right. The middle one is a large pine tree that the roots came under the driveway there, has broken up this grave site. It's actually falling down even more. Um, the one on the right, four of those graves were affected by those that wilding tree, which has been removed. That's all good now. And the one on the left, that was a lawnmower, knocked out the corner, great big concrete, um, not concrete, but stone slab. So um, anyway, we can restore these. We're not asking for money. We just ask you to waive the consent fees, please, okay. and provide us with a global consent. Yeah, thank you. I know Tyrone's got a question. I'm just going to ask, in the past, you have to get, in theory, a consent for each headstone. Yep. Godfathers. Yep. Okay. And <laughs> at least, I think the last quote I had was $200. It's mm -hmm. probably gone up more. Because mm -hmm. okay. some of them need a building consent. Some of them are so high, but most of them aren't. Most of them are, you know, mm. they've just come off their plinth. They just need to be put back. But you've got to have the right number of pins. Mm -hmm. Tyrone, please. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Linda. Um, um, and on the back of the conversations that we had towards the end of last year, just to note that there was, we did make an amendment that w went through in one of those schedules, Mr Mayor, about a global consent for headstones in, in the Banks Peninsula Award. Is it not done? Well, it's just part of the, it's part, of, it's in the draft. So, you know, oh, so, it's it's, so we've, we've incorporated it into our long term mm -hmm. planning. So, mm -hmm. you know, Thank so you. Just, Thanks, Tyler. So it's there. Yeah. We just got to make sure that it happens. Thank you. Thank you. Good on you. Because we've thank got a fundraise. Hey. We don't want to fundraise more than we but, need to. But thank you so much for what you're doing, because if you weren't doing it, it wouldn't happen. So good on you. Thank you. Thank you.